Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we'll be answering the question, why do storm clouds have flat tops? Most of us will have sat inside during a thunderstorm and seen the huge anvil-shaped clouds producing lightning. But why do they form such an odd shape? Normally, storm clouds form when the air near the ground becomes very warm and full of water vapour. This can happen when the sun heats up the ground and causes evaporation. Both increased temperature and amounts of water vapour reduce the air's density, as hot air is less dense than cold air and water vapour is less dense than air. This low-density, warm, damp air then floats upwards, pushed up by the colder air around it. As the air rises, the pressure drops and the air starts to expand and cool. This causes some of the water vapour to condense to form billions of tiny liquid water droplets, a cloud. Just like when your bathroom fills up with steam after you have a hot shower on a cold day. As the water condenses, it releases large amounts of energy, keeping the air warm so it keeps on rising, especially if the heavier water droplets fall out of the cloud as rain. If the air is hot enough, it will keep rising into colder and colder air so that whilst the air in the cloud is cooling, it's still warmer than the air around it and it keeps floating up. However, at around 36,000 feet, that's about 11 kilometres up, the air reaches the tropopause. This is the area between two layers of the atmosphere, the troposphere, which is closest to the ground, and the stratosphere, the next layer up. Here the air stops cooling with altitude and starts warming up again. This causes something called an inversion layer, with the warmer, less dense air of the stratosphere sitting over the colder, denser air of the troposphere. Above the tropopause, the air in the cloud, weighed down by water droplets, meets air which is less dense than itself, and so the inversion layer acts like a barrier, stopping the cloud from rising further and causing it to spread out like the top of an anvil, giving the characteristic storm cloud shape. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!